Greetings, beautiful souls. I have a brief disclaimer. After recording this video, I realized that it was not clear. I tried to fix it the best that I could. I think it looks very cute, futuristic, and nice. You guys, the message is the most important thing. So I hope you enjoy. Family, truth seekers, light workers, chosen ones, star seeds, my people, you guys. This evil eye is so serious and so like, it could put a monkey wrench in your plans and your goals and your dreams and your life. I've learned so much and I just wanna tell you what I've learned. You guys, in this video, I'm gonna tell you what truly is the evil eye, what are all the signs, because I want you to see it coming, baby. You know what I'm saying? You're not gonna be blindsided and how to protect yourself against this because i want you to accomplish your goals your dreams your manifestation so protecting yourself is important i'm about to give you the tea so listen up you guys listen up if you want to learn more then keep watching Hello beautiful people, my name is Candice and welcome to my channel where everything's perfect, throw up them hearts, including you. So yes, hi beautiful soul family. So we about to get straight into this. What is the evil eye? The evil eye is negative people, negative energy, negative vibes, negative things wished upon you. And I Googled it. It actually said that it's a curse from people that they don't think that you know. But baby, I know, you know. And I'm about to give you the tea so you're about to know if you don't know. It usually comes in a form like of people seeing you and the feelings that you get from them and from the situation. So for example, let's say you're posting online, maybe it's your birthday or graduation, you just graduated college or you're having some big event or it could not even be anything. You could just be looking very nice. It usually comes in like people could say, congratulations. Oh, I'm so happy for you. Good luck. Interesting. That's it. Red flags, red flags, ding, ding, ding. No to yourself, put that down in your book. When somebody says interesting, excuse me, what does that mean? Like, mm, interesting. I strongly dislike when people say that to me. And so it usually is a feeling that you get from the people or the vibes that you get from them that it doesn't feel good. So basically it's the attention behind people, what people are saying and not only what they are saying, their feelings, the way they feel about it. Let's say you have something that happens and you tell them about it and that how you feel, do you feel supported? Do you feel loved? Do you feel this person has no malice against you? Me personally, I think it's mainly people that you know that were once close with you or that are close to you. I hate when people come to me and ask me about somebody else. Oh, is so-and-so still doing that little job? Or, oh, they got that little boyfriend or something like that, or if you, or they always in your business too. It's like, those are red flags. So if somebody ever comes to me and is saying that about somebody else, that's a red flag for me to not trust them. And also, if they say that to me, that that's beyond of a red flag, like you're done, design. And really, I've said this over and over. I've cut off a lot of people in my life, a lot, a lot. And, and the list continues because I am fed up. I am fed up. I really want the best for, for other people, but a lot of people don't want the best for you. They see you and it sometimes I feel like a jealousy. For me, I'm very intuitive. So I feel people's feelings. Like even if somebody like hurt their leg, I'm grabbing my leg. Like I just feel feelings. So I feel it strongly. Like I'm I'm like block, 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 block. Like you is block. Like I am done. I've had enough of the foolery. And so <laughs> that's basically what the definition of the evil eye is because you guys, I did not know for a long time what the evil eye truly was. And now I know, and I want to share it with you guys so you be prepared and you could protect yourself against the evil eye. 
So why is the evil eye important to know about? Because legit, they're putting out these wishes upon you and it and it can, it can. I'm not saying it will, it can. And for me personally, it, it has. It can block your manifestations, your dreams, your goals. It could actually play on your self-esteem of what you wanna do. It can make you change up the things you do. Actually, it can make you dim your light for like what you're doing. Let's say you know you're going to this place and people judge the way you dress because you like to dress maybe really girly or really you like to dress up for everything or or something like that but you try to downplay yourself to make other people feel okay or let's say you're going into some conversation and you know a lot about the topic but then you downplay yourself and you don't tell everything that you know because you're trying to fit you guys never dim your light for nobody just stay away from those people just stay away from them period i mean that's one of the keys just stay away from those people because it really would never dim your light because i find myself doing it and i told myself that i wasn't you know going to do things and then i really thought about it like are you going to stop being yourself all because of the way they make you feel and the way they feel about you you guys i cannot say this enough never dim your light for anybody just cut them out. Cut them out. Cut them out of your life. Period, sis. You are the most important person in your in your story, in in this world, in in your reality. You are the most important person, and you must cater to yourself. You must have that self care, self love. You must, you know. You you want to fulfill your goals and your dreams and and accomplish things in life. And not only that, you just want to be happy. You want to live your best life. Everybody out there is, but they don't want you to. Why? Because you are the chosen one. You are a star seed. You are a truth seeker. You are a person that thinks outside of the box. And they see it and they want to stop you because they'd be like, Oh, that's weird they're different you're a conspiracy theorist or, or that no i'm tired of it i'm you guys i can't say i'm tired of it i am of it but that's why i'm speaking out about it you guys never dim your light that's the main thing and another reason why it's important to know about the eye because it could stop your manifestation your goals what i've learned is that <laughs> manifestation is all about manipulating energy and frequencies and using, you know, the law of attraction. It's very old, but it's very true to make it work for you. So when people are sending you vibes, so it's like, it's energy. That's their energy and you have your energy. And so it's changing it. It's changing the concept of your manifestation because they're throwing, basically they're throwing a monkey wrench and to your vibe and to your energy and to your space for example the way you can manipulate energy is like let's say you think about something somebody or something and then they call you or you think about something and then you see a sign about it or you that's the way you manipulate energy so they're thinking about you and these feelings about you and it's not it's not a good thing it's not a good thing because either it's jealousy or they just don't wish happy upon you for whatever reason it is it's just not a good thing so they're mixing that they're put they're thinking about you in their head is you your thought and they're it's an energy filled with it and that's why it's important to know about it and that's why i'm going to tell you how to protect yourself against it because that's what it is manifestation your goals and your dreams is only just a manipulation of energy you guys and so i hope i'm explaining it right yeah have you ever just walked in a room and you could just feel the vibe like ah i don't want to be here you know and leave or stay and you just feel the negative vibes like oh it's something going on here i can't put my finger on it but i i could feel it and that's the same way with the evil eye have you ever told somebody something and it's always the thing about it. That's why I'm t telling you how I'm going to tell you how to change it because it's you. You need to change you. It's not changing them. It's changing yourself. But have you ever told somebody something 
and then it just did not happen let's say oh i'm gonna do this or i'm gonna um get this new car or something and then it just did not happen or if you tell somebody something and then they try to say well you should do it this way or that way you guys this is another thing i want to say is that your dreams whatever it is that you want to do is yours and yours alone and people coming in, that's another way of the evil eye. And changing your ideas, unless you know that this person only means well and that they're truly trying to help you from deep down. And and it's just a good feeling. And you trust this person wholeheartedly. But when you, you come in and you feel bad about your idea and, oh, yeah, maybe it's right. Maybe I should change it. Maybe I should do this. But you're saying the maybe. Whenever it's a maybe, it's a no. Your idea is your idea, your thought, your goal, your dream, your manifestation, your the way you dress, whatever it is. Don't let nobody change you as a person or your anything because it's yours. It's not for them to get. It's not for them to understand because it came to you. So they need to sit back and watch it all unfold. Watch the way you dress, watch the way you move, watch the way you accomplish your goals, your dreams and your manifestations and just observe, you know what I'm saying? It's not them to dictate on you about any of that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if that makes sense. So whenever you tell somebody and you get that feeling of them telling you that you should change your plans, that's the red flag, that's the evil eye. They're trying to throw you off throw you off your game or whatever it is that's why source gave you your ideas your goals your dreams your plans your style your flavor your everything made you perfect Mwah. perfect made you absolutely perfect and made all your goals and dreams as perfect as well and they will never understand you because they don't want to understand people that truly and the only way that like i said to to accept it and then you know it's not the evil eye because if you're questioning it is this the evil eye is it not is if you're not questioning it if you know that this person is just really truly deep down giving you the best advice because they really truly want to help you they really want to treat you see you win they don't have no alternative motive they don't gain nothing from it they like for example people that sit down and help you hours and hours just to like my friend Adriana, she knew I was trying to do this YouTube. She, she sat down with me hours and hours and hours and showed me how to edit, you know, maybe a couple of hours. And eventually I, it clicked. But when people have no, they will sit down and just help you with nothing to gain from it. Like it's some people that they know how to trade or stock market and they've known you've been wanting to do this for the longest and they never sit down and help you even though you ask them all these questions and it's still you don't understand and they'll never sit down and help you those are the people that you you look out for you guys keep your eye on them because those people are not in for your good interest and that's why i'm sharing this with you guys so here i'm just about to get into it because i'm tired of rambling on i'm about to tell you how to protect yourself against these people This is something that I struggle with a lot, is do not tell them your goals, your dreams, your plans, your ideas. Don't look for them for advice or uh, anything. Really cut those people out, truly. And if it's a family member, like a close family member and you can't, like a parent or a sister, you know, eventually maybe you will have it in you to cut them off. But for now, just, don't talk to them about it. I conflict with that because I feel like I want to put out into the world and tell everybody my goals, my dreams, even the way I dress. I want to express myself artistically. I like to dress very feminine and I like to show off my curves. And I think it is intimidating for a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? And so I'm finding myself wanting to dim my light, but I'm not, I'm not. I am not going to because this is me. I've, I've done it my whole life. I've always appeased to everybody. And it's not for you to like, it's for me to like. And if you don't like it, that's fine. I don't need you in my life. But <laughs> so don't tell them, I cannot stress enough. Don't tell them, only tell your uh, accomplishment is once you have it. You are, you're gonna go get a car, tell them once you get it or once you, you you graduate, tell them once you get it. But if you graduate and you're like, oh, I'm about to look for me a job or whatever the case may be before you get the job, 
don't put it out there because people send you they once people this is what it is once people know what you're about to do then they can have feelings about what you're doing so if they don't know they have no feelings about it because they can't they can't think about that feeling that it make them feel a negative energy about you so that's why it's important to not tell them that but you have to be careful i'm not saying don't do it but do it with people you really really trust but for me personally what i'm learning to do is now just to hold everything in everything everything and meditate on it pray about it definitely get you a therapist i'm very advocate on therapy self-love self care taking care of yourself having somebody to talk to because that really helps me and so that's important because usually my personal opinion the evil eye comes from people that you know and that's why it's such a strong feeling because they have like a connection to you so they're putting that energy on you and their ideals and thoughts about you and don't let them you guys don't let them change up your thoughts if you have an idea you keep that idea don't let them change it up unless it's an even better thought like oh thank you for that i didn't you know like sometimes i do get like um advice that be like oh i didn't think of it that way that makes total sense but when you in it and you're like oh maybe or maybe i should no you guys red flags red flags so next is affirmation so i'm about to give you this affirmation right now so make sure when you are talking to somebody or having a conversation with somebody, tell them telepathically that you have no permission to access or feed off any of my energy. People can only access your energy when you give them permission to. Your sub subconscious and non-subconscious. When you are communicating with people, say this affirmation because watch and see how it changes up. I have done this. And it's like my mood, like I could be feeling their energy so strong and or heavy or angry or or not even angry, but you will see it is switch up on you and on them as well. And they wouldn't even know why you 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 done said it. <laughs> Put this in your phone, you guys, because sometimes I forget how to say it and so when something's happening, I put a lot of things, like I put angel numbers in my phone because sometimes I forget like what's the meanings of it. And I could just, a click of a button and I, and I have the notes app, get the notes app, you guys. And so it'd be just easy just to go to it and just be like, uh, I'm in the moment. Sometimes I forget, you know, what I'm saying, caught up in the moment. Look it, pull it out and direct it to them telepathically, like start using your brain. And, and one thing that I've learned with using my brain is sometimes feels like, oh, this is a hard task to do because it's like, oh, can I do that? You guys, you could do it. Just think about it. And you, they don't know, like people really could talk through telepathy. They could talk to each other through their brains. That's kind of how like aliens talk to humans or not only aliens, some people talk to other people through their brain. And actually when I was a kid, I've heard somebody their thoughts and that's a form of telepathy so you guys think the thought in your head and but make sure you're talking to them like look at them and say john you have no permission to access or feed off of my energy <laughs> and go about your day and it will switch things up so that's one, and I have another affirmation right now. Write both of these down in your phone. So you have it on hand, just so if you forget, or you can put it as your screensaver, just so you can be like, look down, you can just do it. You can always have it on you at all times. I call my power back from every person, place, thing, entity, dimension, energy to me now. Powerful. I even felt that me saying it now is very powerful so you say i call my power back from every person place thing entity dimension energy to me now now right now and you say this in the morning usually in the morning and at night because a lot of times you're like interacting with people throughout of your day and so you just claiming back all your energy back to you now like i don't care who you are uh, or, or what's going on or, or what you thinking about me before you go to bed. No, get me out of your thoughts because 
I'm ready. I'm claiming all of my energy, all of it, all of it. Like this is self-love, self-care, growth, uh, manifestation, accomplishing your goals, your dreams, your ambitions, being the person that you came to earth to be, living out your karmic debt, your purpose, and really taking back your power and knowing how to use it. So you guys, number one thing, stop telling people. Stop, stop telling people your goals, your dreams, your accomplishment. Hold it to yourself. And for me, that's really hard because I'm very uh, extrovert. I like to, you know, and I, I do. I want to scream into the top of my lungs, but I've learned that I cannot because it, it's, it's only hindering me. It's only hindering me. And another thing, get rid of social media that is, is hindering your well-being your health like for me facebook facebook is the devil for me because it's nothing but family friends and stuff on there and when you post like for me when i post i feel uh i'm very like i said i'm very intuitive i feel a um, bunks of negative energy on me a negative field on me like and it really does bother me especially when it you know when you post something very meaningful for you like a accomplishment or a goal or a dream and ex and that's why it's just very de detrimental to your health like a lot of social media because of likes and stuff like that because let's say if i post something and it's meaningful to me and nobody like it it really does make me feel a certain type of way like these people don't care these people, you know what I'm saying? They're not liking my stuff. They're not sharing my stuff. They're not, you know, that's just an example, you know. They're not supportive, basically. They're not supportive. Family and friends, I'm going to tell you this, you guys, because I've learned this basically the hard way. Your most supporters is not going to be your closest family or friends. It's going to be strangers. It's going to be people that you don't know. It's going, it's going to be... It's not going to be your family and your friends. You know what I'm saying? And that's sad to say. Like, why is it the people that's the closest to you aren't, you know, going the hardest? Why is it that is these people, Sarah, from 280 miles away, reposting all my stuff, showing me love, messaging me, giving me advice, be, you know, becoming my friend, becoming, you know, why isn't it, you know, the people that's closest to you? But you learn that that's not how it works. So, yes. So that's it. That's all you guys. I am sending y'all total good vibes and love out there. And I, I really do. I really pray that you accomplish your hopes, your dreams, your manifestations, that you're able to live out your purpose here on earth, that, that you are able to fulfill like your inner self, your inner child, your inner person, the person that you want to be. You guys do not dim your light for no one shine bright you guys that's it that's all so if you like this video on the evil eye because you guys are protected i claim it i am protected say it with me i am protected you are protected if you like this video hit that thumbs up button you guys show me some love because i'm trying to grow and i'm trying to accomplish my dreams and i want you guys to come on this journey with me so subscribe because guess what i'm gonna keep them videos coming i'm gonna keep them videos coming i'm gonna keep them videos coming yes and always remember that you are perfect. Yes, you. You are perfectly human. Yes. Shout out to all my perfect gang. Gang, 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 gang. Throw up some hearts. Throw up some hearts. Let's connect. Send you guys some good vibes and some love. Love you to pieces. Have a good day. Bye-bye.